you've ungently, Brutus, stole from my bed, and yesternight at supper you suddenly arose and walked about, musing and sighing with your arms across, and when I asked you what the matter was, you stared upon me with ungentle looks. I urged you further, then you walked away and too impatiently stamped with your foot. Yet I insisted, yet you answered not, but with an angry wafter of your hand gave sign for me to leave. So I did, fearing to strengthen that impatience which seemed so much enkindled and with how, hoping it was but an effect of humour which has its moment with every man. It will not let you eat, nor talk, nor sleep, and if it could work upon your shape as much as prevailed on your condition, I should not know you, Brutus. Dear my lord, make me acquainted with your cause of grief. <laughs> 